and welcome to episode number 104 of Creating a Legend. I am the FM Novice. You join us today as we start season number 12 in the Ukrainian Super Cup away at Shakhtar Donetsk. But before we get into the action, let's go through the transfers that have taken place since we were last together. We've brought in a few players. Nikita Alexev comes in. He is a goalkeeper, 19 years old, on a free transfer. A little bit of experience, 65 games already. High determination, some decent attributes as well in the goalkeeping stats. This guy has the potential to be a decent backup for me. He'll have a long way to go to get past Dijan Milosavljevic. This is how I'm trying to pronounce his name. Let's see how it comes out in the live comms. He is a potential four-star ability player. Current ability is two-star. Ambitious personality. Some really nice attributes already for an 18-year-old. This guy has a fantastic future for me. And I think he's going to be my number one goalkeeper from the, from today. Igor Nyoko is a young defender. Potential three-and-a-half-star player. Ukrainian again. You'll notice a common theme here. Fairly ambitious personality as well, which is a nice thing to have. This guy's got a bit of experience playing in the Ukrainian First Division, 31 games so far. He might turn into something, he might not, but he's got time on his side. And who I'm very hopeful for is Taras Takachenko, a four-star potential player, only 18 years old, already valued at £4 million. This guy's going to be in and around my first team squad this season. Again, got some experience, 22 games in the Premier League. So this guy has a good future in the game. And it's meant we have moved a few players on. Ruslan Dimitriev has gone to Dynamo Kiev for 2.4 million. He signed on a free transfer last season from Maripol. Only played once in the league, played two or three times in the Cups as well. The fact I've got money for this guy is a really, really positive bit of business for me. Denis Yanikov has also moved on. A good player when I was playing the 4 5 1 formation. This guy put real pressure on Hamid Fafana in that left wing position. But since moving to a 5-2-3 formation, one day I will get that right, he has been not really required. So I've moved him on to Maripol for a little bit of cash. Bilal L. Camp has gone to Tottenham for £375,000. I signed him for £180,000 last summer. He spent the season on loan to Chornomritz. And he doesn't really fit into my formation. He's a second midfielder. We don't play those. He can play centre midfielder, but not a natural. He's a foreigner, so he didn't really fit into my plans. So... I've moved him on, a little bit of a good bit of business, made a little bit of money on him, so we move on. And the rest of the guys moving out are lone players, none of them have really much of a future, so I'm just trying to get a little bit of money coming in on a, on a monthly basis. Enough of the waffle, let's get into the game. So team today is Dijan Milosavljevic in goal, that's three central defenders, Steen Jepsen, Bogdan Kovachenko and Vladislav Moltsev. From the left-hand side, Igor Ganchev. From the right-hand side, Mark Stepezi with Roman Starkov and Igor Kogot in the middle. Dijan Yanov, Lubosev Dragovic and Washington Ario is up front. We are slightly decimated by a under-23 competition that's going on at the moment. Four or five of our players are unavailable at the moment, which doesn't help things. But Shakhtar are in a similar boat themselves as we start our first game of the season. The traditional curtain raiser against the, the second best side in the Ukraine. Moltsev wins the header. He now gets it on his feet. Long ball over the top, but it's intercepted. We win it back through Ganchev. Now Dragovic. Cross field ball, but it's given away to Bogdanov. Lorenko. Are we going to have our traditional poor start to the game against Shakhtar? Kovchenko with a header. It's loose ball. We win it though. Strong tackle. Kogot picks up the loose ball. Tepezi finds Starkov. Back to Tepezi. High ball into the box. And it's a free header. Yanov, it's the post. And it's saved by Gambo. Lots of things happening there. We just couldn't force the ball over the line. Good tackle by Stepezi. Inside to Roman Starkov. Ukrainian midfielder driving forward. Good ball down the line. Yanov is in. Yanov has scored at the near post. Dian Yanov started the season well. 15 minutes into the season. And he's already scored his first goal. Lovely strong running from Roman Starkov. An eye of the needle pass down the line to Yanov, who forced the ball home at the near post. Poor keeping from Gambo. Hopefully that will be a sign to come for him. He is a new player for Shakhtar in that goal. Goal kick, Milosevic. Now Moltsev. Back inside to Kovachenko. He finds Starkov. Igor Kogot. That's four Ukrainian players that touched the ball in that move. Good play, Yanov. He looks to be through. Good tackle. Back to the goalkeeper and cleared away, but it's not cleared well. We get the ball back. Igor Kogot. 
Finds Yano, who's done a lot of running this half so far. Cross it in early and low, and Washington Ario got 49 goals last season. He's already got his first of the season. 25 minutes gone. We are 2 0 up. Poor goal kick out. Kogot got the ball, found Yano, and he put a low, hard cross. The Ario is near post, fired the ball home. Things are going well for us today so far. Half time, Shakhtar nil, Helios 2, Yanov and Ario with the goals. It has been very, very simple for us so far. Hopefully, it will continue. Just the one change at half time. Maldonado has come on for Washington Ario. I do actually have a little bit of a selection dilemma at the moment because Mark Stepazzi is my only right wing back because Abakabi Dembele is very, very close to joining Barcelona for £22.5 million. Pounds. And if he does join them, that'll mean I have no right wing backs in reserve. So I do have to look to see if I can find a player to bring in, but there's no one really out there at the moment. Maldonado on the ball, finds Dragovic. He's through in goal and shoots, and that's a lovely little finish. Devastating counter attack by us there. They had a corner, it was cleared away. Kogot ran it up the, up the pitch, looked for options, found one in Maldonado who found Dragovic, and he does not miss those sort of chances and puts us 3 0 up. And that feels like a perfect opportunity to make some changes. Going to bring on Roman Kovalets on the left-hand side for Ganchev. And I'm also going to bring on... I'm going to bring on Alexander Svatok for Bogdan Kovachenko. Just to firm things up in that, mid, in that midfield. In that defence, Yana free kick, shoots, deflected and away. Maldonado turns back inside. Looks for options. Fans Dragovic. Yanev shoots. And that's a decent save by Gambo. Another 19 minutes of action left to go here. Chatter on the ball with Garcia. Finds Lorenko. He finds Colo. Back to Garcia. He's now on the ball. Colo. Good harrying to play. That's a... Referee gives the advantage there. Garcia. Lorenko. Cross field ball. But it's not a great ball behind Kravitz. But he keeps the ball in. Finds Osman. Lorenko back on the ball. This is very steady build up play by Shakhtar. Dimitriev. Good tackle though by Igor Kogot. The legend in the midfield wins the ball. Looks for options. Maldonado looks to be in. Good touch. Shoots from goal. And Richard Maldonado makes it four. Once again, some steady defensive play by us. We just waited to, for the ball, loose ball to come. It came by Kogot. Dragovic got picked up the ball. Found Maldonado over the top. And despite having five Shakhtar players around him, Managed to keep his composure and fire the ball home. Looking for big things from Yanev and Maldonado this season. Both of them were involved last season, mainly from the bench, to be fair to them. But they should have, as we win a penalty, should have good opportunities to play this season. Can this be 5-0? Not sure who the penalty taker is at the moment. It's Dragovic. Looks to score. He does. Dragovic makes it 5. This is turning out to be a bit of a rout here, which is always a lovely occasion when it's against Shakhtar. Dragovic is a wanted man at the moment. Chelsea have made a bid early in the, on the season for £17.5 million. We told them to bugger off, but I'm sure they'll be back for more later on. I'm relatively happy if he does go because we have Yanev and Maldonado as well. They are all three of them wonder kids, so we have a glutton of options up front. As Kogot is on the ball. Dragovic, Starkov, Maldonado is tackled and cleared away, but Stavok wins the ball. Starkov. Could this be six? That would be amazing. If it's six, Tabezi, loose ball, can get the ball in. He does. Clicked on the near post. Dragovic makes it six. That is hat trick for Lubislav Dragovic. <laughs> Things have gone quite well in this one. Shakhtar nil, Helios six, the way to start the season. And even better if we play them in the league in about a week's time. Hopefully, we can repeat this result in that one. Shakhtar are not the side they used to be, which is a darn shame. It really is. We have absolutely destroyed them today, which is very, very amusing. Yana, free kick. Could we get a seventh? That would be unbelievably beautiful. Yanev on the ball. That is full time. Shakhtar nil, Helios six. The celebrations are forthcoming. We have won this Ukraine Super Cup, the one they all want. By six goals to nil, that has laid down a marker for the season. A beautiful game, a beautiful result, and hopefully a beautiful episode for you to watch. If you've liked it, please do leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. I've been the FM Novice. You've been my audience. We'll talk again very, very soon. Good night.